good morning. Let's get something right off the bat. I'll try not to bore you too much. So the Ford Motor Company have devised this really elaborate grill shutter mechanism to sit in front of their radiator. Of all the stupid ideas made out of plastic, this is one of them. You know, while I fully understand this mechanism is designed to increase the performance of your vehicle, I just see it as a great big Jonah lurking behind your front bumper. I think we need to take a closer look at it. Here's a thing. Do you see anything wrong with the front end of this car? You do now, don't ya? You know, if you front end your Mark V Mondeo, there's a very high chance you're gonna need a new one of these. It's called a grill shutter mechanism. And don't go thinking you can go out and buy the complete unit built up. You can take it from me, these shutter mechanisms come in many bits. Just take a look at this diagram. These grill shutter mechanisms are controlled by the engine's ECU and these shutters will open and close depending on the temperature and driving conditions. That's not too important to know. What is important, there's a lot of bits to them, such as this motor, which will have to be removed from the old one if it's still in one piece, that is. If you can salvage any of the old slats and mechanism, you'd be well to do so because this little lot does not come cheap. By the way, I'm not gonna go into too much detail how this all goes together. It's not rocket science. Of all the slats in this mechanism, there's only one real important one, and that's the one that slots into the motor, because this one will turn all the other slats. So I'm just gonna stick all these slats back in before we pop this back on the car. So once all your slots are in, we just clip that bit on the back and that'll hold them all in place. Right, once this is all built back together, you can't just put it back on. You have to fit this piece. It will clip onto the top piece and then you'll tighten down the screw. This piece here has to go behind this frame down the back of this frame. See what I mean? That bracket's got a slot behind that bar and then slide it down. And there'll be four 10 mil bolts and a few trim clips holding this mechanism to the car. And once this housing is all bolted up to the car, you can get your hand behind this and clip it back on. And don't forget to tighten up the little torque screw that's in the bottom of the ladder. What you need to try and get your head round, the slat that goes from the motor to the centre, if it's broken, the motor can't tell where it's supposed to stop. The ECU will recognise this and it will put the fans on constantly and your cooling fans will run flat out the moral of the story really don't twat your car in the first place there will be a wiring loom built inside your bumper two of the connectors go to the motor and your outside temperature sensor the third connector is the same wires but just connects everything through this multi-plug onto your vehicle so you need to have everything connected back up to check it's working in the first place I'm gonna switch the ignition on, start this up, and see what happens. You see the shutter mechanism has done its sweep and it's settled itself down now where it needs to be. And now as the engine warms up, when air is needed to actually go through the radiator and cool the radiator, all these slats will start to open. You know, on a personal note, I don't know why they bothered making this elaborative mechanism. I could have saved them a whole lot of trouble. There you go. That's for the winter time. Summer time. Remember those days? Bit of tin foil on your Morris Minor grill? <laughs> you know what that leaves, didn't you? Yeah. 
You guessed it. I'm gonna put these where they belong. In the trash can. <laughs> Lol. <laughs>